Welcome Aries to Who's Thinking About You weekly tarot love reading. For those of you that are new to this channel, I'd like to welcome you guys. For those of you that are returning, I'd like to welcome you back and thank you for your continued support. So as always, the reading that I'm going to be doing here, it is going to be a general tarot spread and what this means is it probably won't resonate with everyone who's watching. So please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. Or perhaps you would like a personal reading to do so, please feel free to inquire. I am going to list my email address for you all just at the bottom of the video here what the show more section is along with all the different types of readings that I offer you'll find that a personal reading will resonate with you more closely as it is personal and will directly relate to you and your situation so the reading here is intended for Aries ascendant Sun Moon Venus and rising let's take a look at um, who is it that is thinking about you and what's on their mind here Aries We have Judgment, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Okay, and last card in the corner there, the Two of Swords. Okay, um, I feel like you're in a connection with someone here, Aries, who feels as though they may want to get a little bit more closer to you. They may want to become uh, more intimate. Um, they may want to open up and slowly let their guard down. This person does seem a little bit guarded. They seem a little bit closed off. This person is someone who may not necessarily be communicating their emotions to you. Or you might even, um, you guys might even be in a, um, in a period of separation here, Aries, where the two of you aren't necessarily communicating to each other. This is someone who's riddled with anxiety. I feel like this person is, um, they've got quite a uh, anxious nature to their being. And it seems as though this is someone who's constantly, who lives in their mind. Like uh, uh, there could be a strong air sign in uh, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. And um, air signs are prone to, you know, the overthinking and the overanalyzing. Um, it seems as this overthinking uh, of theirs, uh, they tend to do this uh, quite naturally. It comes naturally to them. And I feel like it's an, uh, um, one form of their OCD here where, you know, they t constantly need to evaluate the situation and, uh, you know, think about what's happening and constantly think and worry about the future and, you know, what was said and how it was said and the tone in which it was said. So this person, I feel like, really drives themselves uh, mad with all of this overthinking and they have a frantic state of mind mind especially right now they are wanting to manifest something here with you they are but i feel like this person may suffer from low self-esteem issues or they may be insecure due to i don't know maybe low confidence here or insecurities that plague them and um they aren't someone who is emotionally expressive okay and they can be someone who tends to hold back what it is that they're thinking or feeling this is someone who is a little bit pessimistic in their nature at times and Therefore, they tend to look to worst case scenarios. So, you know, the connection that you have uh, between the two of you now, it seems great, but sometimes they can be making up uh, worries or stress in their head, whereas they feel like, you know, um, they're trying to figure out if the two of you are really right for each other, if you're really right for them, or if you're as keen on them as they are on you. Um, it's like they're always questioning everything. They're always questioning, you know, um, people's motives or they're questioning the things that they're in or... Um, or where they stand and where you stand in this connection. They're always analyzing situations here. Um, it's a restless type of energy here with the Nine of Swords and uh, the cloud symbolism in the Ace of Swords tells me that there is communication uh, that they want to uh, come forward with, okay? So if this person is blocking you right now, I feel like they're only blocking you or staying silent because they want you to notice that something's wrong. They want you to turn around and be the ones to reach out and initiate conversation. Because they st still want to continue with continue this with you. They still want to manifest something here with you, Taurus. Um, Aries, sorry, not Taurus, Aries. Um, but I feel like this person here is... Um, it seems as though they're definitely holding back here. I feel like there's a fear of being judged. I don't honestly feel like this person is really is plagued with either low confidence or a lot of uh, insecurities here. There's definitely this fear of, you know, if they open up their... Um, and emotion express themselves, they could come across as uh, being a little bit, uh, um, their feelings could be judged as a little bit prematurely, or uh, they may feel as though, uh, you know, 
you may not reciprocate here. So look, they're scared to come forward with information and they're scared to emotionally express themselves. But the Queen of Cups does tell me that this person is, a, uh, they have a very gentle nature to them and they mean well. They can come across as a little bit emotionally detached or aloof here. Okay. And they wish to be seen differently. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, this is how they just appear and sometimes how people appear to others and how they really are. You know, there can be two different things here. So look, they want to communicate. They want to come forward. They want to communicate. There's something here that they've been meaning to tell you for quite some time, but I feel like they've been holding back. So for some of them, I even feel like they've uh, put together a text message and they almost hit send but then something he last minute stopped them so there's some communication that they're holding back from and i feel like you need to hear this whatever it is that they need to say it's either something very uh insightful about them and their nature or it's something to do with you know uh your connection here but the nine of cups they're definitely wishing for you they're definitely wishing to manifest something here with you uh, it is the law of attraction card so if this person is staying silent, I feel like they're sort of leveraging the silence to get results here. And they're doing so because they want you to reach out and notice that they're silent. They want you to take notice here. This, this person needs to come forward and needs to communicate. So if you get a chance, I feel like try and uh, get them to try and initiate conversation and try be, you know, um, Try and communicate as much as you can because, you know, having open lines of com communication does promote trust because right now they've got their guard up. This is someone very guarded, someone a little bit closed off. And it makes it really hard to get to know this type of individual. But underneath that, you know, they're, they are a caring, a very gentle, sen um, sensitive soul here. And perhaps that's why they have their guard up because they understand just how easily they can get hurt and how easily it has happened in the past. So, you know, right now... Uh, you know they don't want they don't want to uh, history to repeat itself here. You've definitely um, there could also be something that you've said to this individual which is keeping them up at night. Something that you might have said or communicated to them which is sort of uh, giving them uh, which is threatening their peace of mind right now. From what I can see, they feel a little bit. Uh, judged uh, unfairly by you so something you've said to them which maybe you thought you didn't think much of it but to them because they are such an overthinking because they do live in their head they've really been fixating on this and it's struck it's struck a chord with them okay guys and that there is your spread so as always i want to thank you guys for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel by liking commenting or sharing for those of you that would like a reading with me please feel free to inquire i am going to list my email address for you all otherwise guys do take care keep safe i'll catch up with you later in the week